Yoga for Depression Why use yoga as an adjunct treatment for depression? Within a wider treatment plan, yoga for depression is a multidimensional response to this multidimensional illness. According to the World Health Organization, who, by 2030 depression will be leading cause of disability worldwide. Depression and Yoga Therapy But despite this, it is still a deeply personal illness, and yoga can be part of a personalized response which takes into account both mind and body. The experience of depression varies from individual to individual. Yoga therapy offers an additional treatment which can be adapted to the individual needs of the patient, while also empowering them with a tool they can immediately take into their everyday life. An estimated 10-30% of people diagnosed with depression are treatment-resistant, defined in the NICE guidelines as people who have not responded to courses of two different antidepressants. Depression, a background While doctors may follow a wait-and-see approach, and recommend self-help, for mild depression, frontline treatment for moderate to severe depression, Where the illness is having a significant impact on a person's ability to function includes antidepressants and talking therapies. Why use yoga as an adjunct treatment for depression? Depression is such a varied and complex illness that a one-size-fits-all approach is unlikely to be fully effective for a significant proportion of patients. Within the context of pharmaceutical and other therapeutic remedies, yoga therapy can assist people in symptom management and recovery and in cases of mild depression. It can be their primary self-help tool which prevents their symptoms from worsening. Yoga-based interventions have promise as an intervention for depressed mood and that they are feasible for patients with chronic, treatment-resistant depression. People with depression exhibit elevated levels of cortisol, which is related to brain changes in the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex and amygdala. Known as the stress hormone, those with depression exhibit greater cortisol levels at all points during the day than people without depression. Studies have demonstrated reduced levels of cortisol in those who practice yoga, too. In one study, participants exhibited lower cortisol levels immediately after a yoga class which suggests the effect isn't confined to long-term practice. Another benefit of yoga is that it offers a form of exercise to people living with or prone to depression, 